Hey, these southern resident orcas have been back in the headlines this month. K-Pod, who had not seen a baby in more than 11 years now, look at that, has a baby calf in tow. I mean, this is a rare positive headline and one that is in high demand as the plight of the endangered orca population remains up in the air. Fox 13's Matt Smith spent time with researchers to figure out what is happening right now on the ground level. Late May, early June. It's a time that southern resin orcas used to be frolicking along the west side of the island. They'd be calling this movement here the West Side Shuffle. But those days are long gone, or at least they were. This year, J-Pod, a key part of the southern residents, returned, a rare return. And so I rushed down to the San Juans to see the excitement up close. It's like the island was coming alive. Researchers on land and on the water observing them, taking data and getting pictures, video and data. And frankly, it was a pretty wild time. The excitement was obvious. This is how it used to be here. And the fact that they're returning to what for many decades at least was their typical pattern is a hopeful sign that maybe there's fish here for them and they can return to what was really their core summer habitat for many, many years. We're filling up SD cards full of behavioral data, trying to catalog it all and make sure we know what we have and, and you know figuring out whale sexes and everything. It's, it's been a bit, uh, a, a, a bit crazy making, but I mean, in a good way. So tonight we're digging into why the southern residents behaviors have changed and why this year's appearance offered a little bit of hope. That is tonight right here on Fox 13 News. And then later this week, we're actually talking about some more difficult news going beyond the numbers and tallies of whales that are alive and talking about the biggest concern that scientists have right now. Watch for that story coming up Wednesday night at 10 o'clock. For now, we'll send it back to you.